Chapter 3462 Epilogue On a nameless island, Hansen and his family were having a vacation. Yin Ran, do you want to eat this? Hansen put down a slab of grilled meat in front of a seven or eight-year-old girl. The little girl rolled her eyes. She accepted the meat, ate it, and said, Big uncle, I said that we really should not be together. I do not like being with an uncle, no matter how well you treat me. But I like Lolita. Hansen squinted his eyes and smiled. Big uncle, you have watched too much bad hentai. The little girl curled her lips. Maybe. Hansen shrugged. He kept cooking the food Ji Yin and used to love. Before Qin Xiao had taken Human King's body and asserted control of the Geno Tablet, Hansen had refined the Geno Tablet spirit and used the Geno Tablet. Qin Xiao did not know that during the 33 fights, the Geno Tablet had moved its true spirit to Han San and his Sky Clock. Thus, Hansen was able to use the Sky Clock's Geno Tablet real spirit to make the Geno Tablet stop reversing time and space. That way, the universe would not have to collapse. But the cause chain was destroyed too poorly. A lot could not be recovered, so the universe did not go back to the way it was before time was reversed. Ji Yin Ran was a prime example of this. She was turned back into a seven or eight year old girl, forgetting everything that happened to her after that age. She did not believe Hansen was her husband, and she did not believe Little Flower and Linger were her children. Hansen thought of many ways to convince her. Unless Hansen could be like Qin Xiao and reverse time and space again, there was no other way of bringing Ji Yin Ren back to the way she used to be. But Hansen was not Qin Xiao. His body did not have a small universe. He could not do what Qin Xiao did in reverse time. Stop. Stop it. Sky Clock was screaming aloud from the sea. Bauer and Linger were treating it like a surfboard on the sea. Although the Sky Clock's Geno Tablet real spirit could return to the Geno Tablet, it did not want to go back. It was willing to stay inside the Sky Clock. Small Cat and Little Silver were lying down on the beach. They were enjoying the sunlight together. They were so lazy that they did not even look awake. Oh, two princesses? The juices you want are here. Sheep's neck had a bow tie around it. He was holding up a plate. He looked very sexy as he walked up to Small Cat and Little Silver. Little Star was playing in the sea. He was making big waves for Linger and Bauer to play on. Siet Chin King was wearing a flowery shirt and some beach pants. He was wearing sunglasses like usual, and he had a cigar hanging out of his mouth. There was an easel in front of him. He was holding a pin, but it was unknown what he was drawing. Zero and Little Angel were busy serving other people. They were like two busy butlers. Although Hansen told them they could recline and enjoy their lives, they still never took a day off and worked all the time. It seemed as if they were used to a life like that. Little Gold Gold was lying down next to Ji Yan Ran. It was fast asleep, not willing to wake up all day. You sure know how to make the most of your life, an elegant man said as he approached. You and your whole family came for a vacation, and you let others be the ones to clean up after you. Where did you find the time to come here? Hansen looked at Crepe Myrtle with shock. The universe was badly broken. The Geno Tablet had given up control of the universe because of the Sky Clock, so the Geno Hall had stepped in to take control of the universe again. Many things in the universe required the attention of Crepe Myrtle and the other god spirits to fix. Hansen was not interested in being a leader of the universe. He was not willing to take over the universe. Space Garden had already given him enough of a headache. He let Qin Xian and Huang Fu Jing stay there and manage it on his behalf. The rise of humans in the sanctuaries, however, could not be stopped. Despite Hansen not wanting to take control of the universe, he waited for every generation of humans to be born in the sanctuaries. It was only a matter of time before humans took over the universe. I do not want to see you either, but there is one thing I must tell you about. Crepe Myrtle sat down next to Han Senator. He picked up a slice of meat that Hansen had cooked excellently and started to eat. Big Uncle, you guys talk for a while. I will go and play with Bauer. Ji Yin Ren stood up nicely and ran to the sea. Crepe Myrtle watched Ji Yin Ren leave and asked, Is there no other way? If you do not have a way to sort this out, why should I have a way? Hansen replied, I will just have to wait for her to grow up before I can pursue her heart again. That does not look like it will be easy. Crepe Myrtle said with a laugh. She does not like uncles right now. So, tell me, did you come all the way down here just to laugh at me? Hansen rolled his eyes at him. Crepe Myrtle took back his smile and seriously said, 
that universe coin you spoke about. I used the Geno Hall's power to analyze it. But the universe's rules are broken too much right now. There are many places and things that are unknown, so we are unable to find it. Hansen frowned. He had used the coin to suppress Chin Xiao. He consumed Chin Xiao's little universe. It became a universe coin. Back then, he just wanted to stop the Geno tablet from reversing time and space. He did not take the universe coin. When he went back to look for it, the universe coin was gone. Now, Hansen still did not know what point or merit the universe coin had. He also did not know where it might have ended up. Crave Myrtle shook his head. He looked serious as he said, if it was because you were unable to find it, then it is not a big deal. But I suspect someone has done something. They took the universe coin. Hansen suspected that too, but he could not imagine who might have taken the universe coin. Hansen looked at Crepe Myrtle and asked, Who do you think took the coin away? Crepe Myrtle's eyes were like the stars. They were very mysterious. He did not speak. A while later, he looked out across the sea. It looked as if he was not paying attention. He finally said, I cannot think who might have taken the universe coin at a time like this. Hansen looked at Crepe Myrtle and asked, Do you not want to think about it? Or do you simply not know? I do not know. Crepe Myrtle still looked out across the endless sea. At the same time, in a fallen and collapsed area of time and space, a shadow entered a no man's land. If Hansen saw the shadow, he would have been so shocked that he would have screamed. It was Ancient Devil, who had died a long time ago. Ancient Devil was flying through space. Not long later, amidst all that emptiness, he found a floating island. That island had flowers, grass, and a small wooden house on it. There was a cloth in that small wooden house. One big word was written on the cloth. Destiny near the cloth, a white-haired man was sipping tea. No one would have believed that in that broken zone of space, a place like this existed. Mister, the stuff you wanted is here. Ancient Devil arrived at the wooden house and bowed to the old man who was sipping tea. At the same time, he brought a coin out in front of the old man with white hair. After all these years, I must thank you dearly, the white-haired old man quietly said after accepting the coin. Without you, there would be no Ancient Devil. This is what I should be doing. Ancient Devil sounded polite. I let you follow little chaos until the test ended. Then you were supposed to be let free, the white-haired man said while he played with the coin. His hands were drawing a star universe symbol. He looked weird as he spoke. I did not expect the test to produce an accident. Human Alpha got free, and he stirred up a whole lot of stuff. I am sorry. Fortunately, in the end, things have been put back on track. We now have permission to enter that door. Ancient Devil looked weird too. We never thought your accidental chess move would complete your will. The white-haired old man looked very strange. A long time later, he said, after World King God's fight, Little Sin's life should have ended. I reversed the sky and changed all of the fate so he could keep going. But he is already a man without a life. No one can predict his future now. I did not expect he would become a gene consumer. It is fortunate he is not ambitious and would not enter that door. Otherwise, Aha. Uh -huh. After the white-haired old man said that, he weirdly laughed. He stopped talking. He grabbed the cloth that was about fate and tore it in two with one hand. It was like the world had been cut apart. An old mysterious door appeared in space. If one looked closer, one would find out that the golden door was the same golden door Golden Growler could release. Mister, are you really going in? Ancient Devil looked at the white-haired old man who stood just outside the golden door. He looked hesitant. The white-haired old man looked back at Ancient Devil. I think you already know the answer. I am not him. Yes, but you are you. No matter what, to me, it is the same. Ancient Devil lowered his head after speaking, I want to see where he will want to go, and what kind of world it will be, the white-haired old man said. He held the coin and threw it at the golden door. The golden door had a slot that precisely fit the coin. The moment the coin landed against the golden door, there was a catch-a noise. The golden door started to open. At the same time, the golden door released a weird noise. Door to the sanctuaries has been opened. You will now leave the sanctuaries and lose all protections. Mister, seeing the white-haired old man walk to the golden door, Ancient Devil could not help but scream. The white-haired old man did not look back. He stopped and quietly said, Do not tell anyone else about me. Just pretend I never existed. Not even Mr. Leader? Ancient Devil asked with a bitter look. The white-haired old man said, I am not him. The man she liked is dead. 
He walked forward and entered the golden door. Boom. Boom. An old and heavy door closed. Then it was gone as if it had never existed. 